Okay, on to our second video. Um, talking about the mycoplasma, and we're up to crystalline brucella. The title page of a genuine U.S. Senate study, declassified on February 24th in 1977, shows that George Merck of the pharmaceutical company Merck, Sharp and Dome, and in brackets, which now makes cures for diseases that at one time it created. That's the beginning and the end of the whole scenario. Money. Reported in 1946 to the US Secretary of War that his researchers had managed for the first time to isolate the disease agent in crystalline form. They had produced a crystalline bacterial toxin extracted from the Brucella bacterium. The bacterial toxin could be removed in crystalline form and stored transported and deployed without deteriorating. It could be delivered by other vectors such as insects, aerosol or via the food chain. In nature it is delivered within the bacterium, but the factor that is working in the brucella is the mycoplasma. Brucella is a disease agent that doesn't kill people, it disables them. That brings into the whole Freemasonry um, creed of mayhem, which means it, it, to maim. They don't kill, they seek to maim. It takes a whole lot more of a country's people and resources to look after somebody who's been maimed in war rather than there is killed outright. And the same with diseases that go on and on and on. Okay, it disables them. But according to Dr. Donald MacArthur of the Pentagon, appearing before a congres Congressional Committee in 1969, four researchers found that if they had mycoplasma at a certain strength, actually 10 to the power, or oh, sorry, actually 10 to the 10th power, it would develop into AIDS. And the person would die from it within a reason reasonable period of time because it could bypass the natural human defences. If the strength was 108, the person would manifest with chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia. If it was 107, they would present as wasting. They wouldn't die and they wouldn't be disabled, but they would not be very interested in life. They would waste away. And that's what we find with the natives in Papua, the ones that we treat. They are wasting away, they're not interested in life, they're tired, they have no energy, they can't think straight. And uh, in spite of all of our critics looking for the empirical evidence, these respond to the protocol because the electrocution of the pulsar of the virus being caused by the mycoplasma is immediate. Think about it. You're struck by lightning your flesh will die, certainly, but your blood will be free of all viruses, germs, and pathogens. It all begins with the mycoplasma. Most of us have never heard of the disease brucellosis because it largely disappeared when they began pasteurizing milk, which was the carrier. One salt shaker of the pure disease agent in a crystallized form could stricken the entire population of Canada. It is absolutely deadly, not so much in terms of killing the body, but disabling it. Mayhem. Because the crystalline disease agent goes into solution in the blood, ordinary blood and tissue tests will not reveal its presence. The mycoplasma will only crystallize at 8.1 pH level, and the blood has a pH of 7.4. So the 